how's it going ladies and gentlemen my name is Ruffle Rowlett and welcome back to a brand new video guys today ladies and gentlemen we're gonna have ourselves a look at a brand new Pokemon Sword and Shield DLC rumor that just cropped up so let's get started with it straight away we'll go through the actual first like you know reading through everything and then we'll kind of do the in-depth breakdown of everything after this so let's get started with the actual rumor so it's posted on 4chan and it says trailer April 18th um, and then he includes uh, a name to the post I guess uh, Lucario Knights, which I guess would imply like, you know, Mega Lucario there, but either way, what is he talking about? Well, I am here to announce a few new Galar forms, Galarian forms, and Gigantamax forms for the upcoming Isle of Armor DLC pack. So he's talking about specifically Isle of Armor. They will all be featured in a trailer released in April 18th. So that, again, sounds fair enough, like nothing too strange there. He continues on saying though, Jinx is a mermaid with kelp hair and gains a new evolution that holds a coral scepter called Hevion, Hevionetta, Hevion, wait, Hevionetta, Hevionetta? I guess, I'm not sure, hoping that's not a really weird word or anything. Either way, a ghost doomed to live on land. It is able to Gigantamax and use its G-Max Serenade, which sets up Safeguard. All right, sounds pretty reasonable. Next, Slowbro is pure psychic type and has immunity uh, as its ability. Its nutrition is based off toxins secreted by Galarian Tentacool and Tentacruel. All right, that again sounds a little bit odd and some, seems a little bit too specific. Either way, Gigantamax Weavile wears a long coat of Arcanine fur and a gigantic ice claw or gigantic ice claws, I guess. It's G-Max, Victimizer, is an ice-type move, deals double damage to not very effective targets. That does sound pretty insane, actually, like, as a move. Like, that actually, that sounds great, to be honest. Um, but, I mean, I'm, I'm not sure, like, how useful it will be, but I, it sounds pretty good, in my opinion. I'm, I mean, maybe I'm wrong. Either way, next up, Gigantamax's Dusknor keeps the same body height but is now a giant and creepy translucent red cape flowing around it, or has a, I guess, a red translucent cape flowing around it. A big scythe of darkness appears from its cape when it attacks. Its G-Max, Reap, instantly KOs a target. All right, that sounds reasonable. Swalot is a fairy and poison type and wears a chocolate bow tie. Its mustache is now a string of gummy worms and its body is made out of bubble gum. That seems a little bit too much on the nose in my opinion for a design, but maybe I'm wrong. Clara's signature Pokemon is Gar Galarian Perugly, a poison and ice lynx. Avery's is a psychic and dark hypno holding a silver platter. It looks to have been inspired by a butler, which would make sense in my opinion. So that was the first rumor. That was the Pokemon Sword and Shield DLC rumor. Now next up is another rumor and this is about the Pokemon Sword and Shield anime. So let's take a look at what it has to say. Pokemon anime next episodes spoilers. So it starts off here saying Satoshi versus Pishesh from Kubicha City battle starts 2v2 battle. It's a start to the Pokemon World Championships. Now, this does make sense as we've seen a lot of references to this within the anime so far. So again, sounds reasonable. Next up, a completely focused episode on Rocket Dan. Metamon wants to be an actor. No clue what that's referring to, but all right. Next one, a new Lugia raid battle will start soon. The fierce battle between the gigant gigantic Gulug and Lugia can go, uh, can go catch it is a question. So here's an interesting fact about this. We actually know now that Lugia will be returning in an episode and this was posted on the 22nd of March. So this could actually be somewhat legit here. Like the actual information does seem to make sense. You know, it does seem to be, you know, actually fitting with what the, in the information we have now is. So let's continue. Satoshi loses to trainer Takeru from Mio City. Then a training non-official battle with Shirona starts. Kairu versus Kabu, Kabu, wait, Kaburias? Shirona gives a mysterious egg to Satoshi, which we've actually seen already. We've seen that that egg's been given to him, so we already know about that. Next up, Satoshi and Go will visit Kalos region soon. They'll investigate the Mega Shinka phenomenon in charge of Professor, um, 
Saku, Sakuragi. I'm not sure who these people are. I mean, these are all the Japanese names. They're probably like, you know, stuff we should know in English pretty easily if we just saw them in English. But that's basically the rumor itself. That's basically the whole thing in a general nutshell. There you go. That's what it has. But those are the rumors. Now let's break down the information in both of them. Let's start with the first one, which is the Isle of Armour. So first things first, they mentioned specifically that there's going to be a trailer on April 18th. Now, we recently just had, really, really recently just had a trailer for the Isle of Armor, which was during the whole Nintendo Direct that was just like the mini Direct that happened, which, by the way, was one of the most disappointing things I've ever seen. It just wasn't that special, and I kind of hated the fact that they didn't stream it. I don't see why they couldn't have streamed it. I know, like, the, the virus, right? I'm not going to even mention it. I know the, the thingy that's happening right now in the world. I know it affects stuff, and you might think, like, oh, you're being insensitive, but that's not the case, because when you stream something, you don't need to be physically there to do it. Um, you know, you don't need to physically be in a specific spot for them to, like, you know, host this video. Like, they could have literally uploaded it as a premiere. Like, they could have just, like, instead of having that video just go straight up onto YouTube, they could have had it as a premiere and, you know, like, some sort of announcement. It just felt a little less, you know, um exciting just having this video pop off pop out of nowhere and just be like here you go you know here's the info uh but i understand though why they had to do it it was because of the whole thing happening in the world so i i, I don't i don't hate it um it is disappointing i guess is the right word it's just disappointing because you know we've been waiting for so long for nintendo news just to kind of just get nothing essentially from it either way let's continue so what i'm trying to get to with this whole point is that april 18th just doesn't make sense anymore it made sense for a while but looking at what we got from the isle of armor trade uh, you know, from the recent one we just got, it just showed basically everything. There's like nothing more to discover from the Isle of Armor. I feel like we already know everything about this place. We've seen basically what it all looks like. We've seen what we'll find there, besides maybe what Pokemon that are going to be new there, if there even are any new Pokemon on the Isle of Armor. But we've basically seen majority of everything pretty much given to us. Like, there's really not much else to expect from this, in my honest opinion. I think we've pretty much been given all we're going to get. So it just doesn't make sense to get another trailer at April. April 18th, which is what I thought they were going to do in the trailer originally. But I guess they decide to do it now. Maybe, maybe we'll get a trailer on April, but maybe not just for the Isle of Armor, but also one for the Crown Tundra, right? Maybe one just showing us the Isle of Armor to hype us up, like, hey, it's coming soon, it's in June, get ready, right? Like, just hyping us up, but then showing us, like, hey, you know, you've been waiting for the Crown, uh, Crown Tundra information, here's some Crown Tundra information. That makes more sense, in my opinion. So, I think in that regard, I think it's highly possible we'll, we'll get a trailer, but it won't just be about the Isle of Armor which is where I disagree with this rumor, right? You might be looking at me right now just like, you just sound, you sound, what, what are you trying to say, mate? Well, I'm trying to point out that an Isle of Armor DLC, like, trailer right now just doesn't make sense in April, whereas one about Crown Tundra does make sense because we already know everything we have to know about the Isle of Armor, but we know almost nothing about the Crown Tundra. That's what I kind of want to see. Um, but as we as it comes to, like, the Isle of Armor, I think there are a few more things we want to know. Like, what do the cities look like? There is supposed to be, I guess, one city there. What do the towers look like? What's the deal with the towers? Uh, are there more Pokemon? Are there going to be new Galarian forms there that we don't know about? Are you going to announce any more Galarian forms? So there's still stuff they can show us, for sure. Loads of stuff. But it just feels like we know nothing about the Crown Tundra, but a lot about the Isle of Armor. By the way, let's continue. I digress. So, Jinx is a mermaid with kelp hair. So, I wouldn't mind seeing Jinx getting some more love. We do know for a fact, actually, that Jinx does have some sort of, um, you know, cry, like a new cry within the files of Pokemon Sword and Shield that was never used. And that could possibly be for a new Galarian form, which honestly would be really cool. I know Jinx is one of those Pokemon that a lot of people either you love or hate it, right? You either love it or you hate it and it's just kind of this weird pokemon in a weird position so i feel like it's highly possible we could see something happening with it next up of course Slowbro being psychic type and its immunity um immunity has its ability and the fact that it's kind of basing his nutrition of toxins from Galarian Tentacle and Tentacruel is interesting. And here he's pointing out there's going to be Galarian Tentacle and Tentacruel. And that came a little from a little bit from nowhere, but there we go. I guess that's what he's trying to say here. We're going to get those, which I think would be cool as well. Again, another set of Pokemon that kind of forgotten most of the time. Nobody really thinks much about like Tentacruel and Tentacruel. It's kind of like Pokemon in the background, you know, doing their thing. Uh, next up, Gigantamax Weewile. I think this would be great. Uh, Weewile is one of those Pokemon that was in, I think, one of the first few tra trailers when they showed off 
off like uh, Dynamaxing and it's one of those Pokemon you can see in Dynamax battles and not a lot you know and I think it would be cool to see this Pokemon get some more love it just makes sense uh, next up they just kind of go through some of the signature Pokemon apparently there's going to be a Galarian Perugly and Avery is going to have a Psychic Dark type Hypno who's going to look a little bit like a Butler which in my opinion sounds pretty cool actually sounds really cool if I'm going to be honest and other than that it's really not much else to like specifically bring out a mention here there was the whole thing about Dusk Nor and having some sort of translucent like red cape flowing around it that sounds pretty sick but other than that it's pretty much all we have to see here next though is the other rumor which is the pokemon anime next episodes now here some of this stuff is a little bit confusing due to the fact that it's not all specifically in english i know satoshi is ash for, a, for like for a fact go is the same pretty much in japanese and like you know english it's go or go you know like with a u at the end um so it's really similar there but there's some of the other stuff like you know some of the names of certain people and stuff in cities that i just cannot like connect but other than that though it's a rumor that does seem to hold some weight or some water. It could also be that I'm getting this wrong. I have not kept up that well with the anime recently. I've missed a lot of episodes because I've just been busy with making videos. But maybe this is real, this is fake. I don't know. You guys will have to decide. Either way, that's going to be the end of the video, guys. If you did enjoy, drop a like down below. Thank you so much for watching. My name, my name of course, has been Ruffle Rout. I'll see you all the next one. Have a great day and bye-bye, ladies and gentlemen.